have you have you ever asked yourself a question the, the question or made the statement to somebody else that I am doing everything that I can possibly do doing it every way that I possibly can and yet it seems as if I can't make any headway I, it, it almost times it, it actually seems like I'm going backwards I know so much of my life has been like that it, it's as if I've lost that edge I've lost the sharpness I've lost the passion and, and I know about me and it may be same, the same thing that's true for you is that I get in this place where I get comfortable in life I get in a comfortable place and it, it comes from trying out different things but then settling in on one place and, and there's consistency and it starts off as discipline but then it becomes repetitive and then it becomes redundant and I find myself coming at that place where I am struggling to get to something that I want so much more but I'm still doing the same thing stuck in the same cycle doing the same redundant thing over and over again you been there because if you haven't been you will be and it's going to happen over and over again and this applies not only to your regular life but also to the way your spiritual life can work so today I want to start off I want to push the pause button I want us to take a take a few minutes and let's look at our lives all right let's let's step back and, I, and I, I'm going to I'm going to tell you a story uh, a, a parable of sorts and I've got Hank coming in here to help me Yeah, no, you have to find your way up here. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> All right, so what, I'm going to tell you a story about two men. Okay. <laughs> two, two men, very, very similar. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be good, guys. All right. Two men, very similar in so many ways. Now, believe it or not, we didn't plan for the blue red shirts. Why he's black and I'm blue? That's <laughs> All right. anyway. Uh, two, two two men with so many of the same skills. But I'm gonna tell you a story about two lumberjacks. So. Stephen Dunn and Max, I'm scared. See what hiking will do. <laughs> so, we have we have two men. Very, very similar, very much the same. The same physique. Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Here. The same skills. The same tools two lumberjacks who are, are going out into a competition two, two lumberjacks who are going to be walking into the woods to tackle on some redwood trees two lumberjacks who have done this for years and this has been a livelihood for them and as they go out to the trees they, they've done it so many times before but they start and they start together and they swing the axe over and over and over again one chop up one chop down cutting out those wedges one piece at a time and during this entire time they're moving one step closer to what their goal is to going to the other side of the tree to making this thing work after about 30 45 minutes one of the lumberjacks stops while the other one continues and he wet, wipes his brow and he's tired because he's been swinging for some time 
the one who continues sees that it's, it's his, his competitor has walked away, has stopped. He thinks in his mind, this is my chance, this is my opportunity. This is my chance to break through, to get through, to accomplish the goal since he stopped. The one who stopped has now walked away. And in the distance, you can hear the sound over and over again, taking time to sharpen his axe. See, because in all of the movement and all of the chopping, the blade has become a little dull. And he wants to make sure that he's maximizing his strength. The other that continues to chop hears the sound, knows what's happening, but he thinks, I've got an edge. I am working while he's sitting back there and just doing the sharpening. It really won't make that much of a difference. And he hears it in the distance, continuing to grind, continuing. And then the one who has taken some time away comes back and he sees his competitor and he's much farther along than when he left. And he thinks, it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot to catch up and to, to beat my competitor to, to felling this tree. But he looks at him, and he's tired, and he sees that. And he's swinging harder than he was before because it's taking more effort. So the one who stopped takes his ax, puts on his hands, and starts because he's a little rested now and he's got a sharper blade. And he starts in again and he starts cutting and this time he's cutting deeper and deeper and harder and with more energy it just glides through the tree and it isn't long before the tree comes down and he yells, Timber! And the one who didn't take time to sharpen his axe. Still not accomplished the task. Has still not accomplished the goal. Thanks, I So, let me ask you a question. As we, as we go into this, as we take that parable of sorts, as we take what, we're, what we've learned from watching that and to listening to the grinding against the axe, to the sharpening of the blade, let me ask you a question about